Now at this point, you're probably wondering, what's the point in having a data attribute which has been marked as private, but then kind of circumventing that by having these getters and setters, which enable you to read or write that value, marking those as public? That's a very good question. It's not really about the visibility of the internal state that we're controlling here. It's not really about that. It's more subtle. What we're really concerned with is managing the access to that state. So for example, let's jump in now and let's look at a different aspect where we set the age directly, for example. Bear with me a second, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So let's assume that, let's get rid of these getters and setters. Do you know what? Let's also get rid of the constructor. I know we said it's good practice to have a constructor which initializes the full state of the object, but to demo this next thing, we'll just remove that and just use the default constructor. So let's also get rid of these and let's just have our default constructor here. We can lose the breakpoint too. Okay, so now we have a person instance which doesn't have a name or an age, okay? So if we look inside the person class, these are currently private. We said that means that we can't directly access them. So for example here, we can't do me.name because it's private currently. So let's just change that. We don't have to make these public for this, by the way, because there's another visibility modifier, which is basically if you don't put any modifier on, then the visibility is what's known as package private, which basically means any class in the same package can access those data fields, those data attributes, which is enough for us for now. Just makes it a little bit more clean to look at, I guess. So now we can see when we do that, because it's package private, because the person class is in the same package as the app class, it means that all these classes can see each other's data variables, as long as they don't have any visibility modifier and they have this package private access. So now we can do me.name equals, let's say, Matt, oops, me.age equals 32, whatever it was. Now at this point, to go back to person, we can see that we can access this age directly, okay? And it's okay when we're doing things responsibly. In other words, as the caller, in other words, as the client of this person class, so app is a client of the person class because it's using the person class. It creates the person instance, if you like. This is kind of okay because 32 is a sensible age. However, there's nothing stopping us doing this. We can make the age minus 32 because we're allowed to assign to the variable directly, this data attribute directly, by virtue of the fact that we have access to that particular field. Now, from the point of view of the person object, this kind of puts it into a state that the programmer who designed the person class never intended. You'd imagine that it's never possible for a person to have a negative age, and so there's no way really of guarding against this if you allow people to directly write variables in this way. In other words, the state of the person object has been compromised by the fact that age's visibility is too wide. In other words, it's accessible to any classes in the same package. 